What's up everybody? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing an all drugstore makeup look using all new Maybelline products. Over the last few months I've received a lot of new stuff from them and to be honest I have not touched anything so I thought it would be fun to test out the new foundation that I've been wanting to try and the new eyeshadow palette that ever since I received it, I was like, this was made for me. So I'm gonna do that in this video along with um, checking out some other products. So let's jump into it. And if you don't recognize me, don't worry, I'm in the same boat. I am rocking my curly hair today because now that I've cut it short, I've been playing around more with it and I actually like the volume that I'm getting today, so. We're going curly. Okay, let's get into this look. So let's start off with their new foundation. This is called the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. And it says that it has hyaluronic acid and collagen. And this is supposed to give your skin up to 12 hours of continuous hydration. Visibly improves the look of skin. Medium coverage with a radiant finish. And it doesn't clog pores. I'm going to be using this in the shade 60 Sandy Beige. I have a good feeling about this. So I have been trying to experiment with hydrating foundations for the last few months because my skin has been so dry. I normally have combination oily skin, but that has definitely changed. And the last one that I tried, which was the Bite Beauty, I so wanted to love that because I thought that it was gonna be super hydrating for my skin, give me that more natural look that I was going for. And I feel like this already is kind of giving me that finish. That looks really beautiful on the skin. And I hope that that shade is gonna work for me. They sent me three different shades. This was the lightest of the bunch. So fingers crossed it doesn't oxidize and give me an orange face by the end of this look. Might be a smidge dark, but I think we can make it work. It looks to be giving me a nice even finish. It's definitely taken down all the redness that I had, covered up the freckles a little bit. Let's try these blemishes over here. By the way, it has a pump. Love that, makes it super easy. I like what I see so far. And this actually feels like it's drying down a little bit. It still feels a little rich on the skin, but it kind of has a tacky finish, which I always like in a foundation because I feel like that my other products, like a concealer that I apply on top is gonna just stick to it and everything's gonna wear really nicely. It's still early, we'll see, but that feels really good on the skin. For the next step, I had to tame the mane because it was getting in the way and I need to concentrate. So now I'm gonna go in with the Age Rewind Concealers, the Instant Age Rewind Concealers. They, as far as I know, don't have a new concealer to try out. So I'm gonna go in with one that I've used before and I know how it works on my skin. So I'm first gonna go in with the Neutralizer. So this will kind of correct your under eye circles, the darkness that I have down here, this helps that. To be honest, this is not my favorite Maybelline concealer. The one that I love the most is the one that's in like that squeeze tube and it's more of a medium to full coverage. This is a pretty sheer medium, I would say these concealers are, but they're still really nice on the skin and I don't have the other ones with me, so we're using this one today. I'm gonna take the shade medium now and pop a little bit of this shade on. And this is closer to my skin tone, so this is going to actually help conceal the dark circle now. The last thing I wanna do with these concealers is use a darker shade, so this is tan now. And I'm gonna give my face a slight contour. All right, don't tell nobody. I won't tell if you don't tell, but I am not gonna use a drugstore powder because number one, I don't have one from Maybelline and I stick with the powders that I love. The one that I currently am using and loving is from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm really sorry, because this probably costs more than everything featured in this video today. <laughs> but this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I am so excited for this. So this new nudes, of New York palette. These are my tones. Ever since I saw this, I think it was on Instagram, I was like, wow, Maybelline, you did it with this. They have really pretty tones. Looks to have a nice mix of matte, 
lights and shimmers. I think I'm gonna start with Creator all over the lid. Here's hoping these are gonna be pigmented. That already has a lot of pigment. So drugstore palettes, They've actually been stepping up their game a lot lately. The pigment is there, but sometimes there's just, like the texture of the shadows are just a little bit too chalky and sometimes they don't go on how you like. This seems to have a nice silky matte finish. So like I said, sometimes the mattes in drugstore palettes are just a little, actually any palette in general, sometimes they can just be a little bit too chalky and they don't go on super pigmented, but this applies really nicely. I'm gonna pop a little bit of Soloist up here on the brow bone. This is another matte shade, and this is just to kind of make the brow bone pop a little. That shade looks like it would be a nice, wow, wash of color for my whole lid if I wanted a flesh tone color, like a color that looked like my skin tone. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Explore. Hopefully this will be just as pigmented as the other shade. And I'm just gonna swirl this around in my crease really lightly to just deepen this up a little. That looks a little bit patchy. It's kind of forcing me to blend more and this is making my eye a lot darker than I want it to go, but it's okay. The more you blend it though, the colors become even more beautiful together. I love it when colors just kind of naturally mesh together and they look like an instant smoky eye. Now I'm dying to use this fighter shade. It's a shimmer and I'm just going to apply this with my ring finger and see how this is going to blend out. Is it me or did Maybelline shadows get a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie, like there's certain shadows or just certain formulas in Maybelline palettes that I've used before, especially when it comes to shimmers that are just way too chunky. Whereas this shimmer actually seems to be more of like a micro shimmer, so it's not one of those super glittery thick ones. I don't really like to wear those all that often. I'd rather it be a little bit more subtle like this one is showing through. Although the, the color just got really orangey and kind of coppery, which I should have known. That shade is really coppery, but it's pretty nice. I'm gonna pop a little bit of Originator on top, another one of the shimmers, and just see if we can kind of switch up the tones of this look. Oh, oh my goodness. Who am I right now? Okay, that just got really ridiculously beautiful. I thought that I might have just screwed it up, but that just looks, that looks really good. I've been sitting here trying to decide if I'm gonna do a liner or not. Normally I'd be like, curl my lashes, throw on some mascara, call it a day. But I actually have a new one to try. It's a liquid liner. It's called Hyper Easy. The shade is pitch black. It's waterproof. And I actually feel like a liner might complement this look really nicely, so. Here goes nothing. Oh no, oh no, that, it looks good, but the liner got a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker, but this is like five years ago, Trina. The formula of this actually is super dark. It flows really well, like it comes out of the pen really nicely. That was, Stressful. I think I held my breath that entire time trying to get a wing liner on and make them match. Not what I wanted to do today, but they are on there and we are moving on because I have a new mascara also from Maybelline. This is called the Falsies Lash Lift. The wand is kind of thick, so it scares me to get into the inner corner because I feel like I'm just going to stamp the side of my nose with product, but it's actually coating the lashes pretty nicely. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Saturating the lashes. Formula looks to be pretty dark. It doesn't do much curl right off the bat, but I always go in and curl them again with my lash curler at the end. So let me just get the product on here first. The key to this might be less is more. I did less over here and the lashes are looking better. Over here, they're looking a little bit thick, 
possibly a little bit clumpy. Maybe I just put on too much. So here's what they look like before I go in and give them a final curl, which I'm gonna do now that they are dry. Not too bad, they're very separated. Let me do the other side, because I feel like this is gonna be the better of the two. I don't know if it's giving me that full wow factor, and they're probably not as long as I would like, but it's also because I probably have a wing liner on. But I think if I had to choose between the two sides, I'd do the less product. I think it looks a little bit more flattering. Moving on to brows, they came out with these new Brow Fast Sculpt and it's a gel brow mascara, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. And these are supposed to color, shape, and tame the brow. So I have two colors here. Medium brown, I think I'm gonna pass on because these usually have a little bit too much red. And I'm gonna do the deep brown. Now, as you can obviously tell, my brows are definitely filled in. I just used something that was not from the drugstore, but I'm gonna use the brow gel over top of them now. This is what the applicator looks like. Just gonna take a little bit of that product off and run this through the brow. I rarely use a brow gel that is colored. I usually like to use a clear one, but I'm gonna try not to let this hit the skin. It darkened them up, definitely combed through them really nicely. That color actually matches my natural hair color pretty well. And I like to use my brow gels to finish off the brows because I feel like if I use it first, I can never get the brow that I want. Like the pencils just don't go on nicely. I also don't have perfect brows. So for any areas on my brow that are bald, it just doesn't look right. So I always like to go in with my pencil first and then finish with this to hold the brow hairs in place. I definitely like the color. I think it matches me really well. I do want to try it again, so that is a good sign. It's just, uh, yeah. I gotta get used to using a brow gel that is colored. Off camera, I just went in and added a little bit more of my medium concealer underneath my eyes because it was looking a little expired. It wasn't looking as fresh as I would like. I feel like it looks a little bit better now. And then I went and used some shadow on the lower lash line. So exactly what I did up here, I put on the lower lash line. So the same two shadows, a little pop of highlight in the inner corner. And now I am going to I think, I'm a little nervous about this because it's a gel cream blush and I'm kind of worried about putting this over top of my powdered face. But they're new. This is the first impressions video. I feel like I gotta try it. There's a pink scorch and rose flush. I think it would be the best idea to use the rose flush. So this is a gel cream formula that's supposed to give you a sheer flush of color. It has a natural looking dewy finish. It's lightweight, breathable water-based formula. It says to apply this on, like tap it on with your fingers onto the apples of your cheeks. So just to show you, this is what the color comes out looking like, and then it's really, really sheer. They were not lying. Hmm. I like the glow. I think that's a healthy look. It's definitely shearing down whatever I had on underneath, so I don't think I'm gonna have full coverage on my cheeks now. And I'm yeah, I'm kind of thrown by just how sheer it is. Probably gonna say I don't love that. I would be willing to try it one more time with less coverage on my face for more of a sheer, more natural look, like on my more minimal makeup days. We're just gonna put that way over there. I was gonna consider trying the new Master Chrome Jelly Highlighters. They look like this. There's two, well, I have two shades. But after this, I think I'm gonna, mm, let me look at it. Wow. So this is the Jelly Highlighter in Metallic Rose. Oh baby, what am I doing right now? <laughs> I mean, we've come so far. It dries down really quick, so. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna put this over in that pile too. The last thing that I am going to do is pop a lip on. So I don't really have anything new from Maybelline. They sent me this new cream lipstick 
in copper. It's it's cute, but it doesn't really go with my look. I think it's going to clash. So I'm going to go with an oldie but a goodie formula. I used to love the Superstay Matte Ink. It's a liquid lipstick, and the pigment in this is insane. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on. I'm actually going to do a sheer look. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Instead of doing, like, full-blown pigment hallelujah we are done this is the finished makeup look i am so happy with how it turned out even with the few hiccups that we had so happy i was able to make it work and i feel like it's already pretty clear what my favorite products that i tried out today are but if not definitely the foundation i loved how this applied i feel like even now after i've done my makeup it looks flawless but still really natural but put together I would be curious to see how this would wear all day. So if you want to see a full separate video on just this foundation, leave me a comment and let me know and I'll do that for you guys. And then definitely the eyeshadow palette. This, my friends, is love. I'm pleasantly surprised with this little color combo that I created and I do want to play around with this and do another look. So if you want to see something like that, definitely give this video a thumbs up and I will create another look using this palette it's just so pretty to even look at but thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you're new come back next week for a brand new one and i will see you all then bye